Come on in. So check it out. We are currently staying at the uh, Sheraton Vistana. Now this is over at the Fountain Villas. Now if you remember on our channel, if you go back, I'll, I'll link the video above, I'll put it down in the description. A few months ago, we actually stayed in the Sheraton Vistana, but we were in a whole different set of villas. That video, we were in the Cascade area or the Cascade Villas. This is the Fountain Villas. So if you're looking to book at the Fountain Villas, this is where you're gonna see a couple of good things about the Fountain Villas. They just recently got updated. Hang on a minute, I hear the dishwasher running. Let's get back. Okay, the Fountain Villas have recently been renovated, updated, so they're brand new. They're the newest updated units here at the Sheraton Vistana. One downfall to the uh, to the villas, at least in the building that we're at, so you're aware of it. Um, the, we're on the third floor, which offers a bonus perk. I'll share with you in a moment. However, there's no elevator. It's not that far, it's three flights of steps. It's not a big deal, but you might wanna know it if you're trying to book in the fountains, which I do highly recommend. I love this floor plan, it's extraordinary. So, we come in over here, just so you know, this is a two bedroom, two bathroom, 1100 square foot villa. And I'm gonna tell you that this thing, the week that we're, we were here, it went for about $1,800. I don't remember the exact number, but we saved over $1,500 on this week. Literally, we got this entire week, seven days for $300. I'll talk more about that at the end of the video. So let's quickly get into this, just so you can see. So we come in the front door, and this is the living area. And, you, and everything you see here, obviously came in the villa. If you're not familiar with Condor Resorts, this is the way to vacation. The best, the best accommodations on the planet. And even at full price, some of the most affordable when you consider what all you get. So we have a six person dining room table. This is my daughter's, but it was provided by the uh, resort. So if you have small kids, they do have high chairs. They even have pack and play, stuff like that, cribs they're able to bring up to you. So if you have small kids, that's important because I have a little one, I have three of them, but one's very tiny. Of course, flat screen television. This is the living room. I'm trying to give, give you some idea of the size, but here's a cool feature because we're on the third floor. Take a look, take a look, look up. Boop. A great skylight. It makes the room feel bigger. It's a, a nice added component. This of course is the, the couch and whatnot. This is a neat feature. I want this in my house. Check it out. My son found this. Take a look at this. This is so cool. I love when they add neat stuff in these condos. So of course that's storage, but it gets better. Now you have a, a TV tray and it gets better. It's on wheels. Look at that. It's the small things that I get excited about. <laughs> And it opens right up to a nice balcony. Look. Hope it's open. That's a lot. Yes, it is. One thing about this balcony, and it's some outside noise, I want you to take a look at the door. The door is solid. You definitely want to step up here, but I love it because it's just if someone's outside of the balcony or whatever, you don't hear a lot of noise indoors. It's, a lot, it's very soundproof. What am I looking at, babe? There's another entrance that goes down to the back. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna show it. Come on out, thanks, baby. So this is the balcony. First of all, I wanna say, this is a great setup, and I don't know if you can fully get how the, the spatial dimensions, and it doesn't always show up on camera, but this is a great table and chairs. Again, it's newly renovated, so everything's fresh. You can tell it's new, you can tell it's clean. Also, this is a back door. Of course, you lock it from this side, but there's some stairs that go out right here, I don't know if you can see the walkway down there, but there's a, another walkway. You can walk to the pools. The pools are in that direction. And right behind you, over here, is the entrance to the main master bedroom, which we'll check that out in a moment. So you get to come in. The balcony itself um, isn't as large as some of the balconies you've seen in our videos. However, it has two entrances. It's a great setup. It has a back door. I think Silver Lakes is the only other resort I've ever been to that has a back door like that, which is awesome. And the reason I say it's awesome is because if you're going out to the pool or whatever, you, that's an option for you. You don't have to go out the front, walk around the building, that sort of thing. Let's keep going. We're gonna go to the kitchen. This is the kitchen. Everything's updated. Kitchen is incredible. Granite countertops, the whole nine yards. You got your flat cooktop, great uh, dishwasher that you might hear beep. 
plenty of counter space. We it's it's your home away from home at these kind of resorts. This whole thing, three hundred bucks. We're not done yet. We've got more. All right, my daughter's in here sleeping. We're gonna crack the door just so you can see it. But we gotta be quiet. Shh. Hopefully that didn't make you too dizzy. Now, I don't know if you saw the white crib in there. If not, you can back it up. That was provided by the resort. That's a nice family-friendly amenity. This is the guest bathroom. And I say guest bathroom. This door also opens up to the bedroom for the uh, service that bath bedroom as well. It's got a great shower. By the way, you gotta stay tuned for the next video we're gonna put up on this channel. The next video, because next week we're going to be at the Reunion Resort. You're not going to want to miss that, but let's keep going. I love this floor plan. I hope you notice how this floor plan went. We basically come out of it. We come in the front door. We walk right into the dining area in the living room with the kitchen to your right. And you keep coming, and then you come down this hallway. This is the washer and dryer. Keep coming. And the master suite is a great square footage for the entire unit. So this is a whole master suite. Just take a pan around and we'll step into the bathroom and stuff. So you come over here. Great vanity for the wife. because She's gonna look beautimous. <laughs> and then of course you can step in here to the bathroom, oversized jet of tub. And as we back out of here, we will come over to the bedroom. Da. And this is the bedroom slash workstation. And the bedroom's a great square footage as well. It's just excellent. This place is phenomenal. Decorations are phenomenal. Great chair here. I'm not sure who uses it, but it looks cool. And then you can step out here and go to the balcony. Now, here's what I want you to know. This is again it's 1100 square foot, two bedroom, two bathroom unit, and the fountain villas. This unit was about $1,500 and some change. Um, I don't have the exact numbers for you, I apologize. However, we got it for exactly $300. Uh, we own a travel package, we've owned it for a lot of years. So we saved $1,500. It, it was $1,800, we saved $1,500. We only got it for $300, we got it for only $300 for the week. Um, so it was an incredible savings. Now. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. You're not going to want to miss the next resort. We're going to the Reunion Resort. This thing is spectacular. That unit's three bedrooms, three bathrooms, 1,800 square feet. You're not going to want to miss it. Do me a favor. If you love the idea of vacation, you love traveling, make certain that you hit that like button, hit the bell notification icon, and stay tuned for our next video.